Here's a short question, and I'll try to give you a short answer. The question is, why should we fast? I like to define my terms, and I define fasting as denying oneself the satisfaction of legitimate desires and needs for a specific purpose. Fasting is a kind of discipline, and discipline, as the word suggests, is part of the life of a disciple. So Jesus said that if we were going to be his disciples, we would need to deny ourselves and take up our cross daily. Jesus didn't tell his disciples to fast. He said, when you fast, not if you fast. He expected them to develop in a disciplined lifestyle. The disciples knew what he meant because they watched him in action. He often went without sleep. He frequently missed a meal. He cut back on his sleep on occasion and he spoke about birds having nests, but he had nowhere to lay his head. He fasted as far as luxuries were concerned. Jesus said he had not come to be served, but to serve. And that is why he fasted in his daily lifestyle. And so should we. But there's another kind of fasting. The fasting that is necessary when we face a particularly important issue that requires special concentration or a serious situation that calls for deep remorse and sadness, or a perplexing set of circumstances that call for specially focused prayer. We should not treat fasting as penance or even think we gain favor by fasting. We fast because we know our tendencies towards selfishness and are prone to being too casual about the way we live our lives. Well, there's some thoughts about fasting. Obviously, it's a big question, but I trust that that may be helpful to you.